on the one hand, you've lowered, and I'm not so sure that that's the way you thought about it. So I'm just saying the effect what has happened. On the one hand, you have far lower reserve prices. On the other hand, you've made significant changes in the paradigm for SUC. So in effect, what you're saying is that perhaps there will be great benefits to the corporate sector. Let me modify that. I, what I'm trying to say is this. I think there are one set of issues which, which pertain to auctions. Be they bank, meaning the, the carrier size, be they who's eligible to bid, and the reserve price at which it will be sold. That's one class of issues, auction-related issues. And that has to be done in compliance with the Supreme Court order, out of the way. Then we have policy-related issues. And there are three policy-related issues which we've talked about. The SUC is one of them. Trading is the second one. And the third is rollout conditions. Let me explain all three to you in a minute. Today you have a regime where rollout conditions in one LSA are different from operator to operator. Mm. How is that fair? Similarly, in SUC, as I have told you, you have differences across operators depending on who the operator is. And in trading, the same thing. There is no rule on trading. So what have we done? We have said, look, let every spectrum be traded. 800, 900, 21, 23, no distinction. Don't distinguish by technology. Don't distinguish by operator. Don't do any of this. What is the running theme of these three policy changes? The running theme is, given the constraints that you're working in a second best world, can you slowly transition the entire sector to some degree of uniformity, whether that uniformity is in uniform rollout conditions, whether that uniformity is in a uniform sort of SUC charge at 3%, which will be realized in three, four years from now, or whether it is in trading, everybody is treated the same. That is the running theme of these policy changes.